The plea was written on the shop door, save BHS, but it wasn't enough. Administrators say all 163 stores will go into closing down sale mode, and despite ongoing efforts to sell some shops, up to 11,000 jobs will be lost. Customers like these in Huddersfield today are seeing another big high street name disappear. Well, I think it's a pity because <laughs> I think British Home Stores was a, was a staple of the high street, wasn't it? I am surprised by that, but again, I think the online shopping is taking over everything. It's not been definitely not been as busy as what it would have been in, in recent years, so I suppose when you go in, you can notice a difference. Yes, it was a great store, one of the greats that we've had. You know, I mean, what are we going to lose next? From the administrators who tried to strike a new deal, this statement. It has not been possible to agree a sale of the business. Our thoughts today are with the employees. We thank them for their professionalism and hard work. We would also like to thank the great British public for helping us in our efforts to save BHS. From its earliest days, when nothing it sold cost more than 5p, British home stores evolved and expanded through the decades, becoming a shopper's favourite in the 70s and 80s. When Sir Philip Green bought the company in 2000, he vowed to rejuvenate it. Last year, he sold BHS for £1. Today, he said he was saddened and disappointed by its demise. With MPs set to quiz former BHS owners about their decision-making, retail analysts point to a demise that came in many layers. I think it's probably got stuck in the middle, in a, in a perfect storm of competition, uh, much more demanding customers and shoppers, and of course uh, the online shopping which is affecting everybody. They've needed to be updated and to find a more distinctive position in the market. Trying to be all things to all people is a very difficult game to play. From clothes to food, from towels to lamps, BHS offered something for everyone, but not enough shoppers were tempted, and soon the lights will be going out at a company said to have fallen victim to retailers' turbulent times.